Tony, a 4-2 victory here in the Midlothian Derby against the Green Star. Can you try and sum up all that 90 minutes for us? Oh, what a game, Dougie. Uh, firstly, absolutely delighted to get the to get the three points. Uh, if we take it first half, found ourselves 2-0 down. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, we're not happy with the two goals that we lost at all. Balls into the box, three headers. Um, God, we can pick the bones in them all day long, no good enough. Um, really not happy at 2-0 down, but do you know what? The, the character that we showed today, to come back, to get ourselves back to 2 all at half time was superb. I was in a wee bit of a situation when I'm going at half time and I'm saying to myself, am I going to give them a blast? Or actually, you know, to be fair, am I going to give them a wee bit of credit that they've got themselves back into the game and we're going in level at half time? So, um, yep, so we dealt with that at half time. What a start to the second half, you know, inside a minute we challenged them there, can you keep a clean sheet in the second half and can you go and get us a, a goal or two in the second half and that wins us the game. Perfect response inside a minute, we're up the park and we, and we scored which was, which was superb and then, you know, New Grange were, were pushing for the last 10 minutes there and, we, you know, Jordan Caddles had a, a, a great header for a cross in the box. It's fairly Sam, he's broke superbly and he went off and then squared to, to some end, what a super finish just to put the icing on the cake really so overall absolutely delighted with the three points and I'm, I'm hearing that uh, other results have gone our way as well again so um, that's great for us today so delighted with the three points and we, we move on again as I say every week. You know, the one downside today was Dean Crabb going off after six minutes, was that just a precaution or? Uh, no, so Dean, Dean's took a real sore one uh, inside the first couple of minutes there, he's got a bit of dead leg so we'll need to get to work on him during the week and see how he, see how he responds to that. To be fair we've got uh, a couple of cup ties coming up in the next week so that's league business put to bed for the next two weeks um, so Dean will get a bit of time to recover for that because he's, uh, he's cup tied. So. He also strengthened the team this week with the signing of Stephen Norton. Yeah, yeah. Us. listen, everybody knows the pedigree that Stephen's got and the career that, that Stephen's had. He's had a, a terrific career in league football. We are absolutely delighted that we've managed to secure him um, for the next year and a half. Absolutely great signing for us and, and somebody with his quality is only going to help to add to the group and help the group try and achieve the, the targets that we've set them. And now next week we go on to the quarter-final of the Football Nation Cup against the University of Stirling. What's the... What's going to that one? Aye, so uh, it's actually quite nice for the next two weeks that we'll have a, a break for league business now. We can we can relax, go and, go and enjoy the, the cup ties. As with every game, Doogie, we are desperate to try and win and get through. And next week will be no different. Still, and are going to be a, a tough game. They're a low and league side. You know, university sides are always good. They're always fit. They're well organised. So that will be a that will be a tough game. But we're looking for a, a good crowd and a, a good performance again for that game. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Doogie.